In this video, we're going to add sound effects to our Feet Aspen game for Pygame and Python. Hey guys, John Alder here from Codemy.com, and as of now, our Feet Aspen game is set up to where when Aspen hits red food, she gets a point, she scores. When she hits the blue food, she dies and loses a life. And in this video, we want to add sound effects. Now, we had these sound effects in our old Feet Aspen game, so we're going to use the same ones, but now we're doing object-oriented programming, so it's a little bit different. And that's what we're going to look at in this video. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor in the Git Bash Terminal, as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this Pygame series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So I've got our code from the last video, and I've renamed it aspen underscore collide7.py. So let's come down here. And before we get started, let's just open a file explorer real quick and go to our games directory. And remember several videos ago, back in our old Feed Aspen game, we had this sound directory and we have a few sounds. Here's the aw sound when we die. Aww. Here is the dog sound when Aspen gets food. All right. And then we also have a game over sound. So we're gonna use those three sounds in this video. And so we need to add them here. So I'm in my game class and let's come down here and let's define our sounds. Now we might want some background music and we'll look at that later on because I don't want to keep listening to background music every time we work on this thing. So maybe at the very end, we'll put in some background music that just plays the whole time we're playing. Uh, but for now, we'll just do sound effects. So let's come down here and to do this, we need to define each of these. So let's define this. And the first one we want is when she scores, when she gets the red food. So Let's call this score underscore sound. And this is going to be a pygame dot mixer dot sound function. And here we just want to pass in where that sound is sitting. And it's in our sounds directory. So we can go sounds dot and the name of this one is dog dot mp3. Now, this sounds directory is like I just showed you in the same folder as our Aspen Collide file. It's in our games directory. So we can use a relative path here. Otherwise, we would have to go something like C slash. Uh, games slash whatever. But since they're all in the same directory, we could use a relative path. So, okay, that looks good. Now we also want a self dot and let's say a die score or die sound. So whenever Aspen hits a blue food and dies, we want to play some sounds. And that's again going to be a pygame dot mixer dot sound. And this one is sounds slash aw dot mp3. Aw. So every time she dies, it goes aw, right? So then finally, we want a self dot, let's say game underscore over underscore sound. And this is the little sound that plays when we die for the last time. And this is also going to be a pie game dot mixer dot sound. And then also this is in our sounds directory and it's the game underscore over dot MP3 file. So, okay, we've got our sounds. They're defined basically the same as the old way we did it with functional programming, except now we just slap a self in front of them, right? And we're putting them right in our game class in our init function. So these are going to load right up as soon as the game loads. And that's pretty much what we want. So now we just need to determine when we use these. So we've got score sound, die sound and game over sound. I'm going to copy this first one and let's come down here. And these are all pretty much aspects of collisions, right? So if we've died, certain things happen if we otherwise it means we caught food so here let's go self dot score sound dot play and then up here after we lose a life and i suppose we should comment play score sound and then up here uh let's say play die sound and this is going to be what do we call this die sound i think and then if we die a certain number of times, so every time self.lives, we subtract one from it, let's play game over sound. Now we haven't actually built in the functionality to end the game when we die. We'll probably do that later because it's a little bit involved. But for now, we can at least play the sound when our lives gets down to zero. So let's go if self.lives equals zero, then we want the, what, what do we call this? The game over underscore sound. Uh, and then we want to dot play that. Of course. Okay. So let's say play sound. All righty. So that looks pretty good. I think that'll do it. Let's go ahead and save this. 
head back over here. I'm in my C slash games directory. My virtual environment is turned on. And let's run Python, Aspen underscore collide. And that's Aspen collide seven dot pi. And here we go. That's, oops, pygame mixer dot sound object is not callable. Uh, oh, <laughs> all right. So let's see, die dot sound. We want to dot play this. That's a weird error to make. Uh, okay, that looks good. So let's try this again. Head back over here and let's run this guy. And here comes our red. All right, that worked. We got a little barking noise. And here, oh, oh we've got four lives, oh. three lives, oh. two lives, oh. one life, zero lives. And then it plays the little ending thing. So, okay, that seems to work. And that's all there is to it. So, really not complicated at all. Just remember usually going to want to load all of our sound effects in our init function because we want them all ready as soon as the game loads, as soon as it initializes. We may not use them till much later, but they're there, they're defined. It's a nice place to sort of lay them all out inside of our init function. And then we could just call them any time inside of our class just by calling self.game over sound.play or self.die sound play, or of course, you know, self.score sound play. And that's all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. So it's access to all my courses, over 60 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 190,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from Codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.